Since being paralyzed in a diving accident 19 years ago, Auburn University professor Scott Renner has used the research and technology to assist those with disabilities. But he isn't stopping there. I'm very passionate about assistive technology and you know, I use it daily. I use it to operate uh, lights in my house, the TV, uh, working the computer, opening my door, uh, my van, and so really just having the passion to educate people about the various types of assistive technology that's out there, and then also educating about the different services and programs. Services such as voice recognition, turning on lights, or just watching television. Technology has allowed people to live more fulfilled lives with disabilities, and also more user-friendly. Nineteen years ago when I was working with technology with voice recognition, I had to talk like a robot, which frustrated me, and the technology was just uh, so costly for me to be able to operate the lights in my house and everything. But there's one piece of technology that doesn't exist yet, and Scott's hoping for it. I'd like if they could figure out a way that I, uh, I could drive. I, I would love, uh, and there is some technology, but uh, somewhere that they could de develop uh, assistive technology where I can get in my van independently on my own and things of that nature, but uh, I'd love to be able to drive. In just one year, the Center for Disability Research and Service has held two assisted technology conferences, one open house, and has served as an outreach for people with disabilities. It's remarkable that Auburn, uh, the accessibility that we have here on campus, uh, uh, the facilities we have here the, at the center are just uh, I think top-notch. Scott says he'd like to continue traveling and seeing the different avenues assistive technology has to offer. For Alabama First News, I'm Jeremy Babin.